Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be another, uh, more of an adventure type video where I'm really not sure what I'm doing or what I don't, you know, know how to do. <laughs> but the basic gist of it is I'm going to go through and race BSPWM. Now, for those of you who know me, I'm an i3 user. I've been an i3 user for a long time. Um, but I have used BSPWM in the past and this is basically what BSPWM looks like on my computer and has for a long time. It uses most of the colors from my i3 config um, and that's fine but it's also boring. I want something a little bit different so um, I'm going to use what everybody else uses because <laughs> that's not boring or you know whatever. whatever. I'm going to try to go through and Dracularize <laughs> not a word. I'm going to try to use uh, words today. I'm going to use the color scheme Dracula to try to get as much of my BSPWM to look like what you see in front of you. Um, now, th this credit to this goes to, uh, let's see, who is this on Reddit? Uh, this is uh, this person on Reddit. I'm not even going to try to, to attempt to uh, say their username. I'll just put that in the, sh the show description if you want to copy along with me. And also, uh, eventually I'll upload my config files for i3 and BSPWM up to my GitHub, or Git, um, GitHub page. I haven't done that yet. Eventually I will. Maybe I'll make a video of doing that. I'm not sure. Um, anyways, so where do we start? Uh, I will, so far, I'll tell you, first I'll tell you what I've done so far. So far I've made it so that um, BSPWM is pulling from a its own polybar config file instead of using the same one my i3 config uses. I just so far I've only copied over you know one to one that file because I know it works. Um, but this way any changes I make here won't be translated over into my i3. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> if, it, if it does I'm going to be a little upset because that means um, my i3 rice will be gone down the drain which will be disappointing because I'm not using Dracula for i3 I'm using one dark. If they start mixing together, it will not look great. Um, so I've done that. I've also gone through and made sure that um, the SX, SXHKD file is one that's only being used for BSPWM because I'm going to try to keep those two configuration files for i3 and BSPWM separate so I don't have to have them all in one and make it all messy. Um, I've done that. Now, I've also, so you'll see this is my sxhkdrc file and this is just the standard one that comes with Arco Linux and there's a bunch of cruft in here that I don't need I might go through and uh, eventually I'm going to go through and take out all this extra stuff that I just don't need um, cause I don't use variety um, variety comes installed on uh, standard Arco Linux but I'm using Arco Linux D and you still have the same stuff you in your, in their config files as you would have if you um you know were using the regular Arc Linux. So it comes with a whole bunch of crap that you don't actually need. Now this here is my um, BSPWMRC, and again there's a, just it's just the standard one that comes with Arco. Uh, I've made very few changes other than making sure that the the workspaces appear on the proper uh, monitor. I have two monitors, so I don't. I want uh, you know one through five on the first monitor, six through ten on the second monitor, and that's how you do this. And that all comes in the standard Arco Linux. So I'm thinking that the only things in this uh, file here that I'm going to need to change are these colors here. I think that's the only thing that you know, the only colors that are actually defined in the Bash script that is BSPWM. Uh, so let's go ahead and go get some colors. Uh, I can actually remember where everything's at. Um, let's see here. So Dracula color scheme uh, colors. Here we go. And this will give us the colored. So we want the outline of the windows to be the purple of Dracula, which is this. I believe it's purple here BD 393 F9 okay so config focus border color so if we do this change word oops and 
and then do that, and then do, control W and restart BWM, and we've made a start. Now, as you see, these have uh, borders when they're not focused, which is this hex, hex, uh, uh, this color right here. Um, so we want to make that. Um, I'm so used to my browser being on number one, and for whatever reason, it opened up on number four. So I'm going to be switching to the wrong desktop or workspace all the time. It's going to be annoying AF. Um, so let's see, what uh, color do we want to use? For I think we'll use the foreground color for that. Okay, and then, oops, wrong one. And we just control that. It might be too bright. Yeah, it's too bright. Now, does Dracula have a, a grayish? Th does it have a gray? I mean, we could use this dark. Ooh, we could use this one. Let's let's see what this one looks like. Oops, and it didn't. That didn't cover copy over the right one. Ah, we wanted it to be this color here, four 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 seven five A. Is that really the same color? It is the right color. Okay, it just looked weird. It looks exactly the same as it was, and maybe it was exactly the same as it was. Anyways, that'll work, I guess. Um, okay. So the next thing we want to do: config active border color. I don't know what that active. Config active border border color. How is that different from the focus border color? I don't know. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. If we figure out what that means, I'll come back and change it. So, I think that means we're done with the uh, BSPWMRC. So, we can close that and we can go to our, our polybar config. Now, the first thing we want to do is the focused color of the workspace. So we go down here to um, BSPWM and we'll go down here to the yeah the module of BSPWM and we want to change the focused foreground here this here to this color here, purple, right? We'll turn, we'll see it and see what it looks like. And, and W. Ah, uh, see, I had worried about this that it wasn't actually pulling uh, the right poly bark and fake. Okay, so how do I go about changing that? So the way I have it right now is. is I have a polybar folder here in my BSPWM folder. And I have uh, the auto start file launch, the launch.sh um, uh, script from that file instead of the one from, uh, you know, the one that uses from i3. But it's not, that's not working. Now I know there's like a dash C option for polybar. So if I um if I do a server, let's go ahead and call polybar. Okay, so that gets rid of polybar. So if I do polybar dash C tilde slash dot config uh BSPWM polybar launch dot sh that did not work. Oh, because I got it. Why didn't I wonder why it didn't work? So the, see the it's this dash C that I want to use. Hmm. Maybe maybe we'll just have to go through and. Hmm. So 
that should work. I wonder why that won't work. So if we do a restart, ish polybar in this with this here should not actually work if it's not running doing from that. Hold on a second, I wonder. CD dot config bspwm polybar the launch. Okay. So Yeah, there's a whole bunch, a ton of, you, this is the, uh, okay, I wonder, ah, okay, so let's see if we can make this, alright, so if we do this, see, look at this, monitor up by um, reload polybar main dash C, but it, it pulls from the wrong config file, so what we need to do is change this to insert bspwm slash and we need to do it here as well insert bspwm pwm slash okay and I think I think that should be it so if we save this control wq and reload polybar it does show up now the question is if I make a change in as you can tell I'm not used to using uh, uh, BSPWM <laughs> there's some things I just don't understand like why I can't change back to that All right. anyway so we control out of that oops okay and then vim slash polybar config Okay, and then let's change BSPWM. Okay, this is where we need to go and change. Ah, actually, we already know it's working. Just look, it changed the color. I'm good. <laughs> All right, that's great news. All right, so that means what we can do, what we should be able to do, is clean up this file just a little bit. So we can cl close that go to the top and clean up some of the stuff just get rid of all this stuff I don't need these comments I no longer need those okay we'll leave all this here for now um, we can get rid of the Nord thing because we're not going to use Nord get rid of some of these lines okay we can get rid of uh, the Gotham theme is the one that it's using so we'll get rid of the interceptor theme And then enter visual mode and just get rid of all of i3. Because I don't need i3 in this config because it's not going to use it. That's going to get rid of a lot of lines. We get rid of open box. We don't need that. We don't need the other open box. We do need, obviously, BSPWM. So get rid of all that. Okay. We're going to leave the two BSPWM. Uh, bars even though it doesn't use the second one. We can get rid of Herb's Luft. I'm never gonna use Herb's Luft, even though I have Herb's Luft WM installed, I think. I did try it for like thirty seconds. <laughs> Maybe someday I will get that uh um, another chance. Uh, we don't need X Monad either. Uh, yeah, we don't need an X monad because it, that will draw from the regular standard config in polybar slash config. This one here is just going to be for BSPWM. I got um, so we can delete that. Okay, now we'll save that, and the polybar disappeared. Wonder why it would disappear. Why would it disappear? It doesn't make any sense. Alright, so we'll just do some... We'll just go through and re... <laughs> undo all that and see if it comes back. Okay. 
it's back again. Wonder what I dis what I what I deleted that will so we won't delete it nearly as much this time. So let's get rid of some of this. Okay. Oops. Need that to stay. Okay, and then we can. There's no reason why those comments would keep it from loading. Okay. So we'll get rid of the no the. Oh, you want to? I bet you. Hold on a second. Yeah, I bet you it was be deleting this colors, because I deleted this part, this colors here too. I bet you. All right. Yeah, I bet you, I bet you that was what it was. All right. We won't delete that this time. Okay. Now let's go ahead and try to delete the i3 part. Make sure that yeah, I should be able to delete this just fine without you know polybarn you know crashing. Delete W. Yep, good. All right, we'll try again with the open box. If you're gonna do this yourself and you gotta go through and. Um, delete stuff from a config file and you're not quite sure what you need to delete delete little snippets first and then save it make sure things keep working that way you know when things break uh what to fix because you go through and delete all the, all the stuff you want and you don't know exactly when it broke like i did before so i'm going to get rid of the two the, the open box yep oops And we delete that. It's going to end up having been this colors bracket here that caused that to not load. Almost guaranteed. So we'll leave the BSPWM ones because those are the ones we need. Just clean this stuff up. This is this is half of what ricing is. Because when you rice something, unless you're starting blatantly from scratch, Chances are most people just steal other people's configs and then make them their own. And that's what I always do. I mean, I'm a lazy person, so of course I do. But if you're going to do that, you're going to have to get used to being able to go through and delete stuff. So, we need that. And that's basically what we're doing here. This is Arco's config file. And we're just going through and making sure that it's not so damn long. We're going to go ahead and do xmonad at the same time. Okay. Now I should be able to again W this and it works. Very good. Alright, now I think I can delete the I3 module as well. But I'm not sure. I'm going to try. Because BSPWM uses its own module for the workspaces. So I should be able to do this. Yep, good. Good. Everything else should be able to stay. All right, so now it's just a matter of going through and choosing the colors for the modules. So the first one here, I believe, is memory, and this is a CPU. So um, memory. Uh, I'm not sure which one it uses. Can't remember. Right. I'll just go back to the top. It uses, let's see here, it uses memory too, okay. Okay, here we go. Now, do 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 do. What, um, what color should we want this to be? I think we'll make it cyan. So it's basically what it is now, but it'll be a little lighter, I think. We'll see if I'm right about that. All right. Mm -hmm. Change dollar sign. Control V. And those are going to be very, very close. So that was the prefix foreground. We want this to be the same way. Okay. And we save that. Yeah, and there we go. Okay, so now we'll see what the. CPU one is. I think it's CPU one as well. 
Yep, CPU one. Okay, here we go. And now what color do we want that to be? <clears throat> do do do. Want it to be let's call it I mean, basically it's gonna be exactly the same one, it's gonna be a brighter green. Okay. Alright. And here as well. Oops. Okay, now, uh, volume. I think that's going to be PAV volume. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so what color do we want that to be? We want that to be this, like, an orange thing. Why not? I mean, we could have it red, but let's go ahead and do orange this time. Okay. Okay, very good. Um, and file system is the next one. Okay. All right, so what do we want that to be? We just did orange. Let's do something a little bit, uh, we can do that. That one can be the red. Okay. Okay. All right. And then date one. Okay. Is this one here? And we we, we can make that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's make that pink, I guess. I like kind of something a little bit darker. We can make it this color purple here. But I'm thinking that this color purple here is actually going to be the color of the bar. Yeah, let's go ahead and make it pink. Yep, okay. And then we need date two. Alright. Alright, let's see here. What color is here? So we've done red, we've done pink, we've done orange, we've done green, we've done blue. And then, um, so we'll do yellow. Okay. Even though it was basically yellow before. So basically, these, none of these colors actually changed. Oops. Okay. And there's Polybar. Oh, we gotta change the background. Alright, so go back up here to the top. It's using the Gotham theme. So the background is going to be. We want I think we want it to be this uh purple here. Or do we want it to be the, the bright purple? I think it's the darker purple would work better. Uh this one here, okay. Oh, that didn't work at all. Hmm. Oh, you want it? That's because I'm dumb. I bet you I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm dumb. It's uh. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. Uh, we're gonna need some darker. It's gonna have to be this one, the current line one. All right. Uh. Okay. Okay, and go back up here. Uh, 
Oh, because I didn't, I didn't save this. That doesn't look terrible. We need to go down here and change that font. So the fonts, the font is, um, always messes up. So, all right. So if you, if you can see up here where, see how the, there's like a space underneath these, you know, everything, it looks horrible. It, what you want to change is this, after the semicolon on your font, you want to change that to one. Oops. And if you do W now, that should change it. Maybe it needs to be two. I think I'm going to go ahead and change it to two on all of them. Yeah, there we go. See how that? Now, I also want to make the bar a little bit smaller. Uh, we don't need it to be so so big. Maybe 22. Oops. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, we you know what? We didn't change the weather. Okay, so... There's no reason. I mean, let's find what, what purple. That that light purple that we were, we were looking at. Um, this one here. Oops. Sometimes Vim just deletes things because you press the wrong key button. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah, alright. And there's Dracula uh, for Polybar. Not bad. Um, not really that bad at all. Alright, so uh, I think uh, that's good enough for now. Uh, I'll probably make a part two of this video where I look at figuring out how to make it so that Termite uses a different config when I'm in BSPWM than it, what it does when I'm in i3. That'll be my next project for this. And, and I wonder if I can do the same thing for Firefox. That'd be a challenge. Anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Uh, and uh, if you really like the all this nonsense, give us a, subs a subscribe. And we'll uh, see you next time.